everybody. Welcome to my video. Um, today I'm going to show you how to take apart this little guy right here. This is a um, Samsung 360 camera. Um, a lot of people call it the uh, the 2017. I guess that's the that's not only the, when it was made, of course, but uh, I think that's the proper designation for it. And there's been a lot of videos I've seen on uh, YouTube about this. I uh, mine um, the battery stopped working. It won't charge anymore. I think mainly because I left it sit for about a year without using it. I used to use it all the time on my motorcycle. When I go on trips, I used it as a safety camera. I, I set it up for a continuous loop uh, recording with a 64 gig card, 32 gig card. I think, I think it was a 32 gig card. And it would get almost five hours of recording in a loop and, and give you 360. So if I wanted something off that ride that day, usually it would be there at some point. Or if it was a real long ride, it would loop over. But either way, if there was ever an accident or something like that, uh, I would have had a record of it. And so that's why I bought it primarily, and it, it does work pretty pretty well. So there's been a lot of videos I've seen on YouTube showing how to take this apart to replace the battery. And um, they've been disappointing, uh, to say the least. Um, <laughs> um, I've seen a few where they're using like a pair of pliers to take the, um, take the cover off here. Uh, the little ring around here. Um, and um, ripping things apart using pliers to get the case apart and really all they're doing is damaging it <clears throat> I guess they either don't care about it or if they figure if it they can't make it work they're just going to throw it away anyway well I'm going to show you how to take it apart without breaking it or destroying it now I've had it apart to the point where I can take it I can put I can disassemble it I haven't got it to the point where I can get the battery out only because I just haven't spent that kind of time on it yet. So primarily, this video is going to show you how to take it down to that point. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go get a battery and I'll finish the, uh, the video um, with, uh, for installing the battery uh, at a later date. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how to take this apart. It's fairly simple. There's only a few tools that you need. Number one would be a jeweler's uh, Phillips head. Hopefully you guys can see that. I think my product showcase is working here, so you should be able to see that. Um, it's just a regular, uh, it's a very, very tiny Phillips head screwdriver. And then the other thing is one of these uh, case knives, which you use for uh, uh, phones, taking phones apart. Uh, you can see how thin it is. Let me see right there. Yeah, see how thin that is? So um, I uh, repair laptops and PCs for a living, so... Uh, we use these a lot for laptops to take the displays apart because the displays have gotten so thin on laptops these days that if you need to replace the screen, this is the only thing you can use to wedge in there and pop those little plastic pieces off. And it works perfectly for this thing right here too. So <clears throat> let's begin. First off, the bottom right here has got, uh, it's actually held on with a piece of double-sided tape. And if you'll notice right here, there's a little indent and that's where you put a flat screwdriver blade in. So I've got a flat screwdriver here. I guess you do need one more tool right here. Um, and I'm just going to stick it in there. And then this would pop off like that. You can see that there's some two-sided tape right there. Okay, that holds it in place. Then that exposes a couple of small screws. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little drawer screwdriver and just undo these little screws and we'll set them aside to where they don't get lost you have a little plastic box or tray that you can put them in as you're working uh, that way you won't lose them all right and then this piece right here comes off okay so there's two pieces right there so there's our there's our first two pieces that we've taken off right there now, at this point, there's no more screws to undo. You have to go to the top, and you have to take these little rings off of here on both sides. Now, this is where people kind of get confused because they, they have no idea how to get these off. And, they're, and if you've never taken them off before, uh, they're on there pretty tight. That's why you see a lot of people using pliers and whatever to grab a hold of them to try to rotate them. But what's funny is Samsung has already given you the tool for that. And it's this little rubber ring that's around here. 
Uh, I've, I've heard this called several different things. Uh, some I won't mention just because I, I want to keep this uh, family rated. But uh, this little rubber ring, which, is, uh, which holds it in place, it's good for carrying it and whatever, um, can serve as a grip, let me get it off of here, to get these rings off here. So what you do is you take it and you put it on here like this. You push down real hard. I'm going to show you here like this. You're going to squeeze it together and you're going to turn. And that'll get it started. And then it screws right off. See how that worked? <laughs> See how simple that was? So you got to do this on both sides because to get to take it apart, you have to take off both sides of this. But that really is the perfect tool for getting those rings off. That little rubber thing right there. If you've lost this or didn't keep it or looked at it and threw it away because you didn't think you'd ever use it, uh, well, then I don't know what to tell you. But <laughs> if you kept it, then that's perfect for this job. Now, here's where we need the case splitter right here, this little tool right here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to just kind of get it in between the case. Oop. Right here. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Back up. We got to take these screws out right here. There's three screws right here, right there, and over there on both sides. And so that's next. Yeah, I apologize for that. It's been a long day. Let me get these three out of here. Two. Ah, come on. It helps if you have a, a little, like, like something to work under, like I have right here. Come on. I'm being stubborn. There we go. So that when you're, if you drop these, they just hit something soft and don't bounce around on you and fly away. All right, so that side's off. One, two, three, there they are. Now we take our case splitter and we put it in. And see how that just puts that wide open? There you go. Now it's apart. Now your button here comes off. It's actually got tiny little holes in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. See the tiny little holes in there. Hopefully my uh, product showcase is working for us here. Yeah, see the little hole right there? And those go in the back cover of that right there. So when you put this in, you got to make sure it's shaped um, to fit the case. If you put it on the opposite, it'll go on wrong and then it'll look weird. So make sure you get that back on right when you do it. Okay. And so then here's our other case over here. Which I'm trying to think how this how I got this off last time. Oh I didn't get it off. That's right. Um, what I had to do was now we've got these other screws here, these case screws. You got one there, one here, and then a few at the bottom, as well as around the top here. So all of these have to come out to get it apart. So I'll try and fast forward through this part for you guys so you don't have to watch me spend five minutes unscrewing screws. And then we'll come back to it. But like I said, I, I, I need to take it apart to get the battery out because I would really like to just buy a battery. I'm certain that there's a battery available for it um, without throwing this away because it's not working. Um, I had a, um, I had a, helmet, uh, um, a motorcycle helmet communicator the battery went bad on. And uh, I, I was able to buy the, take, it, take it apart just like this, buy the battery for it and, and reuse it. Versus having to basically buy a new one, which is what the um, manufacturer told me I had to do. And 
And they do seem to be uh, the same screws, so shouldn't have to worry too much about that. I think um, the ones for the plastic on plastic are slightly are threaded slightly different, but you'll be able to recognize the difference. Anything that goes in the, uh, plastic in the metal will be a more uh, a more finer thread, like that. You can see that or not, but that's a very fine thread there. Let's see if we get a zoom in on that. Maybe not. Oop. Yeah, kind of uh, really hard to see, and it's smaller too, so you might want to put them in a different uh, a different pile. Up a little bit here. Okay. Okay, those are fine threaded but bigger. Put them in this other pile over here. And then there's one more here. So it looks like a total of six screws in the base and four around the top. One more here that's there, there, two more. Okay, there we go. All right, so at this point, let's see what we can do here. There it comes. Okay, now it's coming apart now. You can see this right here. And uh, voila. Okay, now we've, it looks like we've got a small ribbon cable is what these are called right here and it looks like it attaches into where the buttons go that i'm sure that just comes right out but i don't think we have to really worry about that uh, it looks like our battery is going to be right here again we've got more screws to undo and uh hmm that's uh that's in there pretty good. That might be corroded in there. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, now, that presents a little bit of a difficulty. But that's the battery right there. So we got to get this cover off to do that. Let me take a pause for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to go to a larger uh, tipped Phillips head from the one that I was using. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not really sure how well you can see that, but it's the next size up in my uh, in my bit um, driver box that I have here. I got this at um, Home Depot for like nine dollars in their tool section, and it's got all sorts of uh, tiny torque sizes and. Really, it's perfect for this kind of work, especially if you have a, if you ever want to mess with a phone or some other small electronics item. Um, you need a set like this, and you need that case separator that I showed you earlier. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a. Oh, it's almost acting like a sprung door. Hmm. Okay. Let me finish removing this one. All right. All right, there's that out. And then this one here. You work on that bottom one too while I'm at it. There we go. So, there we go, all right. So there is our battery. Uh, 
and it looks like it just pops right in down here pop that up there we go and then remove this from the case Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. Oh, it's glued in. And there you have it. Oh, that's a soft gel battery. It feels like. No, 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 it isn't. It's just maybe swelled a little bit. Okay, so there's our battery. Um, there's the, uh, oh, can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. I'll put the part number um, at the end of the video um, with a picture. I'll have a close-up photo of this as well. But there you go. That's the battery. That's removing the battery from a uh, Samsung 360 uh, 2017 model. And then when you put it back together, you just have to have it. Just got to make sure and push that tiny little piece back into that tiny little spot right there. And then uh, screw it all back together. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know in the comments section. Press like if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you guys.